Hello and welcome to our sanding and fairing paradise on Building Vilda. Last week we started fairing the decks and, as you can imagine, now it's time for some oh glorious sanding, followed by, of course, more fairing and more sanding. So I'm sanding the decks and will continue fairing on the port side and forward around the big hatches, while Axel takes on the beautiful job of fairing under the roof, around it and on top of it. Then we have to take a look around and decide when it would be a good time to apply the first coat of primer. So stick around to see if we're ready or not. We've had a pretty big week on Villa. <laughs> a very big week. We now have a roof that I think you can see. <laughs> My YouTubing skills are not, not, not excellent. <laughs> and well, if we only look on the starboard side, the deck looks uh, beautiful as well. We started fairing the decks. Sides have of the salon have been fared a long time ago, so they look pretty good. The next fantastic piece of fairing will of course be top of the roof and the port side, but uh, we're getting there. Started underneath here, and this is going to be one of those projects that we do a bit of here, and then. Uh, do a little bit of sanding and coving in the corners and stuff like that once we're offshore. Yeah, that doesn't need to be done here. But the big areas do. So let's get to work. Not above the storm, but how you dance with the rain. Don't beat yourself up, strive through your pain. Keep moving forward, don't be afraid of who you are. Anything is possible, so shine like a star. So today I'll uh, pull off all this bird shit covered uh, peel ply and uh, start working on the roof, laying down fairing compound, and then hopefully get to sand off excess fairing compound on the deck. That's that's my plan. I've had a really slow start this morning, but uh, thinking about how to solve a whole bunch of different things. But mm, that's common. <laughs> Just get into it. Uh, one little problem at a time. And, uh, quickly move forward. I'm searching for real again. Searching for love that never ends. Rain falling off like pain. A little bit early for outfitting, but <laughs> but this almost looks like like it. 
So this is one of my beautiful Genoa tracks. And uh, below here, see the reinforcement that it's designed to sit in. And I have to not lose these uh, holes. So to, to make sure I don't lose the holes, I'll uh, drill a couple of them out and that should be enough for me to find all of them uh, after we've painted with um, uh, primer or even top coat. So you have to think a few steps ahead. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes that works even. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't. Said him, oh, drink special lamba, special lamba, special lamba. Oh, we drink special lamba. Are you happy how we shall be? Said him, oh, we <laughs> Yeah, this was supposed to be easy, but the uh, support here isn't entirely straight. So it's in two sections. And this section is slightly off that way, which makes no difference at all. But uh, it looks like the holes are not straight, but they are. I guess the only person who'll ever know is all of you and myself. Luckily, we're a small channel, so. So, <laughs> so once the Genoa track holes were marked, we continued with applying fairing compound on the roof. Followed by some sanding, of course. So after the first uh, filling and sanding, the roof joint here hasn't turned out particularly nice. So uh, I have to do something about that. <laughs> yeah. The reason, of course, is there's like f five million layers of glass going in different directions here, and and uh, the old glass for holding up the roof is still visible here. So I've tried to take that down, but not so easy. So uh, what I'll have to do is simply add some more fairing compound, uh, because once you get to this stage, I mean, you start sanding away glass, and and this is what's holding the new roof up. So so you don't want to do that. Uh, you want to fill it, you don't want to overfill it really, you want to use as little fairing compound as possible, but <laughs> you also want it to look sort of nice. My plan today is to put some fairing compound on the lower joint here, because uh, I didn't put enough from the beginning, I, I knew I didn't put enough there. But that's turning out pretty nice, or as nice as I thought it would. And then I'll try and figure out where on the salon roof I do need more fairing compound and where I don't. And I'll through sanding this a bit by hand. And I'll try and fill that as needed. <laughs> it's hot in here. I, I don't know how hot it is, but uh, it's about 30 degrees outside. I'm under a steel roof. <laughs> There's no air movement here at all. This is probably still not fared after some sanding. But I think we'll be happy with with the result we have after this. So this will all be hand sanded down so that we keep as much of the desired shape as possible. It's much easier to hand sand a small area like this than when you have the whole roof. So I like using that sort of machine or any machine for big areas. I know it's not gonna turn out great, but it's also not gonna kill me. We have not been filming as much as uh, probably should, but what we've mostly been doing is fairing and sanding and it's not so much fun. Not for us and, and uh, <laughs> not for you guys, for sure. But we've uh, accomplished a lot 
uh, for this short time in, uh, that we've been here in Australia. So we're going to start painting. Yeah. <laughs> the boat is no way finished, uh, but we don't need it to be. So we're going to do a lot of priming. Um, this is uh, what she looks like for now. So the roof is all um, laminated in place and fared and several times. <laughs> you can probably see it's not flat uh, even even now without uh, um, a uniform coat of paint on. But that's mostly going to be covered in solar and anti-slip, anti-skid. Same goes for the decks. I mean, 90% of the decks will be covered in anti-slip, anti-skid, so it doesn't really have to be that smooth. The uh, salon here uh, looked pretty good um, when I bought the boat. And uh, <laughs> we'll see what it really looks like when it has some paint on it. But I'm thinking it's not going to look too bad. There, there's. There's stuff to do everywhere, and there will be, even when we leave this place, and that's fine. Uh, we just need to get out of here. We need to finish the big things, make the boat float, because it's good if the boat floats, and go sailing without cutting any real corners. Uh, we'll, we'll get that done as quickly as we can, and then we can do some finishing fairing in some beautiful spot somewhere else.